Hey guys, welcome back. This is Bernardo from the BJ Tech News and welcome back to another exciting Microsoft Office Access 2013 video. Uh, today I'm going to be talking about trusting your database. Now, you most likely when you open up a database that you receive from a client or someone from the office, you are receiving this security warning right here at the, at, you know, within your file. Now, there's three options that you could use to get rid of it. And the reason why you get this security warning is most likely that this database is getting or has micros or formulas that it needs to run for it to work properly. Uh, you could exit out, but which I don't recommend because if you exit out, you're not really giving the database full access for it to work properly. You can enable the content, which if you enable the content, you're basically letting the database run for that moment. But when you close the database and you reopen it, what's going to happen? You're going to get that security warning again. Now, the other option is if you put your mouse over here, right here, and you click on it right there, it's going to take you to this little security warning. Now, you're able to go to the trusted uh, center settings or learn more about active content. Uh, but if you go right here and enable content, you click, you're able to go to advanced options, which we're going to go on a little further detail on advanced options but I want to do enable all content okay once you enable all content once you close this database you reopen it you're good to go okay now another option that I want to show you guys if you go to file and we go to option and within option if you go into your trust center and you go to trust center settings and trusted location now I'm showing you guys this because let's say you have like a bunch of databases located in one particular location let's say you have it on your network and all these databases that you're gonna work with every day you actually trust them you trust the formulas you trust the micros you trust everything within these databases but you don't want to double click each one to enable the content basically telling access that these files are safe to work with so what you could do you could actually go into this location the trusted location and add a new location you could browse and tell it hey this particular folder could be trusted everything that's inside this folder could be trusted because inside this folder they're databases okay once you pick your folder also make sure that you check subfolders of this location are also trusted because most likely a lot of environments, a lot of work environments, they don't just drop databases on one folder. A lot of people like to create subfolders, uh, identifying the client's name. You like, let's for example, you have a folder called uh, databases, and inside that database folder, you probably have a folder, a subfolder called Chase, another sub, of another folder called Torus. So you're breaking it down to vendors that you deal with each day in their databases. So you want to make sure that you check this off, letting access know that you trust this primary location, the root of the folder, as well as whatever is inside the root folder. And once you press OK, and then you have a trusted location that anytime you guys open up that database within that trusted location, you won't have that security warning because you already told access that you trust it. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video about trusting databases and how to you know disable that uh, security warning. If you have any questions or concerns, leave them at the comment section and don't forget about hitting that like button and I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.